Hello, my beautiful ladies on YouTube and Facebook. Welcome. I'm so excited to have you guys here today. We're going to be learning practical steps to be a bold and courageous woman. So I have also in here my ladies from Instagram. So we are all connected and I'm very excited about that. And for those of you who are following me on YouTube, make sure you guys turn on the notifications so, and subscribe to the channel so you guys can always get all the notifications when we go live. And on Facebook, same thing, give it a like, share, and make sure you're always uh, getting the notifications we're sending. And same here on Instagram, make sure you guys give it a like to this video, a lot of hearts, I can see you guys are there, I see you guys connecting. I'm very, very excited to be here this morning, guys. And without further ado, let's get started. Welcome once again, my loves. We are studying the book, The Virtuous Woman of Today. So make sure you guys get your book, your notes, your notepads ready so we can dive in into today's uh, topic. Once again, we're going to be learning practical steps to be a bold and courageous woman. So I'm really, really happy once again to be here, guys. Before we get started, I want to give you some quick announcements that I have for you. First of all, remember that every Saturday at 9.30 a.m. on our private book, Transform, uh, on our private Facebook group, Transform Your Life. We're going live there. My sister is bringing a devotional. She's going deeper in the Word of God. So make sure you go there and listen to those powerful devotionals. We're also having a new podcast. It has started this week. Every Monday, you guys are getting a podcast of five minutes that will help you start your, your week right, to get inspired with the Word of God, to get your, your mind in the right place. And from Tuesday to Friday, I give you something that is called Wisdom Seeds, and it's a one-minute podcast, a one-minute devotional that will help you start your day right. Amen. So if you guys haven't heard it, I have left all the description or the information in the description box so you guys can go ahead and get that information uh, from there and get inspired and motivated. Okay, before we get started, let's start with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for the opportunity you gave us to be here in your presence. Thank you for the word you're going to minister to our hearts this morning, Father. We ask you to please help us understand and apply all these steps you're going to give us today to be bold and courageous women to achieve everything you're calling us to achieve this year father thank you so much lord for the strategies you're going to give us today in the name of jesus we pray and everybody says amen and amen so excited once again my loves uh for today's teaching um for those of you who are new to the group remember we're studying the book the virtuous woman of today we have been studying for a couple of months different pieces puzzle pieces that compose the virtuous woman so today in particular and last week we were learning how to be a bold and courageous woman and today we're going to learn those practical steps that will help us be that bold and courageous woman last week we read um joshua 1 9 and i want to read it again because it sets up uh, the precedence for what we're going to be speaking about today joshua 1 9 says have i not commanded you be strong and courageous don't be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord your god will be with you wherever you go how many of you say praise god this morning and this is a powerful um reminder that god is giving us here to be bold to be courageous to go after everything he's calling us to do and to be now last week we learned uh, what it means to be bold and courageous. So go and watch the video. Remember all the videos are recorded on YouTube and Facebook so you guys can find it there. What does it mean to be a bold and courageous woman? What is fear? And we, we study the feel, fear is just a feeling and how we can control it. What fear and what is fear in, in like the definition of fear 
and what are the different types of fear and how we can confront them and what is our comfort zone and how we can get out of it. Amen. So that we learned last week. So go and watch it. The videos were, were saved there, but I want to dive in right now into the practical steps on how we can be the bold and courageous women that we want to become. Last week we learned two steps. I'm going to go very briefly over them and then we move into the other ones. So step one, we learned to trust in God and his promises. I asked you a couple of questions last week, guys, and, and I told you to reflect on this. And it's, first of all, we need to know what God says about our future. We need to know what God says about ourselves, about our circumstances, about what he has placed in us. And all these answers are found in the word of God. So, and the word of God is full of his promises for our lives. So that's why I was telling you, it's very important that we go to the word, that we study his word, that we trust in him, in God alone, and the promises that he has for our life. Amen. Now, step number two that I gave you last week was to don't allow fear to take root in your life. So I was telling you to control your thoughts, to not allow to get deeper in you. We learned how to do that. So you guys can go and watch the video so you can learn how that about that step and, and don't be or don't allow fear to take root in you. But let's start today with a step number three. That step is to be careful what you allow who were you allowed to enter into your mind? So be careful where you're allowed to enter into your mind. That's a step number three. And I want to read, and before we go deep into this step, let's read Matthew 6, 22. So get your Bibles. Let's read Matthew 6, 22, and let's see what God says about this. It says, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of life. So what is God teaching us here? That it is very important and critical what we allow to get in our mind through our eyes and also through our ears. Whatever we're seeing, whatever we're hearing will interfere with the vision that God is giving us. Amen. So that's why it's important that we actually pay close attention to those things that we are watching, those things that we are hearing. And on a daily basis, we need to feel fill our, up our minds and, and start going deeper into those thoughts that God tells us every day. That's what we need to meditate on on a daily basis, on what God says about us and on his word. Now, we must always be aware of what kind of information we're allowing our mind to meditate and process. So I was telling you guys that whatever you see every day, whatever you hear every day is what is going to influence your mind, your thoughts. And so once you guys have, like, for example, if you're feeling afraid, if you're feeling discouraged, it is important that you start thinking what I have been listening to lately, what I, ha what I have been uh, watching lately. It could be movies, it could be TV shows, it could be um, friends or books that you're reading. It could be something that is probably influencing you in a wrong way that is now helping you be afraid of what God is trying to tell you to do. So that's why it's important that we meditate on or, or find out what that information is and get rid of it. Get rid of it so it doesn't get root in you. And that's why this step, be very careful about where you allow to enter into your mind because that's what is going to feed your mind for the rest of the week, the rest of the day. Um, the more you watch things, the more the, the things that you're watching the most are the ones who are going to have the most influence in you. The people that you're hearing the most are the ones that are going to be and have the, the influence in you. And if the messages that you're receiving are uplifting, healthy, and productive in the same way you're going to enjoy of uplifting, healthy, and productive thoughts. So that's why it's important, my loves, once again, to be very careful. That's why we read that in scripture before. Be very careful what you allow to come into your mind. Amen. Now, if you're feeding yourself every day on a daily basis, the word of God, this is what you're going to enjoy. You will enjoy a healthy mind. 
you can enjoy and learn to dominate your thoughts and whatever uh, the enemy tries to throw at you, especially when you're seeking God, uh, you're going to be able to dominate that. You will be more positive with whatever situation, no matter how difficult it is, you will be able to be positive because you are feeding yourself with the right food, which is the word of God. And you will be able to manage your emotions better in, in any situation. Once again, whether it's something difficult or something easy, you will be able to domin dominate and manage those emotions during those times. Why? Because you're feeding yourself with the word of God, with the, with the right Food that you need to feed your mind with. Amen. Now, this will be reflected in your daily actions and your decisions. Whatever it is that you're feeding yourself with, whether it's good or bad, will influence your actions and your decisions, your future. That's why it is very important. And once again, my love, if you are feeling like anxious about something, if you're feeling fear about something and start analyzing what you guys have been hearing, watching lately. Amen. Now, step number four, be careful who you allow into your circle. Be careful who you allow into your circle. It's been proven that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. And those people influence us those people um, help us in our decision-making process because we're constantly hearing them. We're constantly interacting with them. So that's why we have to be very careful who are those five people that we interact the most on a daily basis. Make sure that in your circle of friends, you're surrounded by people who feed you with the word of God, who are positive and who are great influencers in your life. We're encouraging you to go after God's dreams, after God's goals, after what he has placed in your heart. Amen. Now, I want us to read Proverbs 27, 17. So if you have your Bibles, let's go there. Proverbs 27, 17. And this is what Proverbs says. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another one. So if you guys notice here, the Lord is comparing us with iron. When you put iron against iron, it starts giving each other shape. It, it kind of bends in on, on a shape that it needs to go. The same thing that Lord is saying is us with the people that we are surrounding ourselves with every day. We are sharpen each other, our personalities, our thoughts, what we're doing, we're sharpening each other. So that's why the way you're influencing people as, way, the, as well, the way you speak to them, the way you, you encourage them, is the same way that you're sharpening their life, the same way other people are sharpening your life as well. So make sure that the people who make uh, part of that circle of those five people that influence you, those friends or family members that influence you the, the most, make sure um, that these people are sharpening you every day, that they help you get better every day. Make sure that they feed you with faith and not with fears. Make sure that they motivate you and encourage you to achieve everything, all the dreams, all the desires that you have in your heart. Make sure that those people remind you of who you are in Christ and they bring out the best in you. And make sure that these people remind you that God is the God of the impossible. So when you have people like this surrounding you and being with you all the time, you're going to feel encouraged. You're going to feel uh, bold. You're going to feel courageous to go after whatever God is calling you to do because these people are filling you with the right word and not with the opposite. Now, the people in your circle can help you fulfill God's calling for your life. Or it could do the opposite. These people can also discourage you to make those decisions, to go towards what God is asking you to do. So they have the power to do both, depending on the influence they are putting with their words, with their thoughts, and things like that in your life. Amen? That's why it's so critical to examine your circle of friends 
and be careful who you are allowing to be your intimate, to be your influencer. Amen. Now, remember that you are a member of that circle. I told you there are five people, right, that influence you the most. Well, my love, you're one of those people. You're one of those that are influencing yourself. So the question this morning is, how are you influencing yourself? Are you being positive? Are you listening to the Word of God every day? Are you applying the Word of God? Are you looking yourself in the mirror and saying, I can do it? Are you being that positive influence in your life? Because you're one of those that are influencing you the most because you are with you 24-7. Amen? And now I want to encourage you this morning to make Jesus part of that circle. Make him part of those five that every single day you're spending time reading the word, you're spending time growing, amen, in the word of God, because the more you spend time with Jesus, the more you will be like him, the more you will learn how to do God's will in your life and how to do everything that he's calling you to do. Amen. So make sure you remember you're part of that five people and make Jesus part of the other five people. That means you only have three people that, to worry about. Okay. Now let's do a step number five. In a step number five, we're going to talk about taking a steps in faith, even if you are afraid. So that's a, that's a powerful step, guys. I was telling you last week that the more we confront fear, the more we do the things that makes us afraid, the more we're going to be able to dominate it in the future. The more we train the muscle to be a strong and to be courageous and to be uh, bold every time God calls us to do something. So that's why this step is very important and is to take the step even if you are afraid. I want us to read 2 Corinthians 3, 5. Let's read it. You look it up in your Bibles, 2 Corinthians 3, 5. In the, in the meantime, I see you guys here connected on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook. God bless you guys. Super happy to have you here. 2 Corinthians 3, 5 says, Not that we are competent in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves, but our comp competence comes from God. How many of you say amen to this powerful scripture? What is God telling us here? If you are putting all your faith on yourself, on your abilities, on what you can do, no wonder you're afraid because we're limited people. We can only do so much. But if you understand that every competence, that every ability that you have comes from the Lord, then you will know and you know and you know that he will be able to do the impossible possible. The things that you cannot do, he will be able to do it. And immediately when you change your mindset and you start thinking, God can do it. I cannot do it, but the Lord can do it. And if he's calling me to do it, that means he's preparing me and equipping me to do it. Fear is going to disappear. And you're going to be able to take that a step in faith and knowing that God is going to show up. When you put your faith and your trust in God and not on your own abilities, you understand that since you are doing the natural, God will be able to do the supernatural in your life. Amen. And that's why you know and you know and you know everything will work out for good. In other words, as long as you do everything in your power, the Lord will do the rest. So make sure when you show up on any situation, even if you're afraid, think about this. As long as I'm doing what I'm capable of doing, what my hands, my mind, my abilities can do, I will do as far as I can do and the rest, I'll leave it on God's hands and he will do the rest. Always remember that God says to you, what God says to you in this verse that I'm going to read to you guys. This verse is what helps me all the time when I'm afraid, when I don't feel competent enough, when I have something to get done, whether it's in my personal life, in the ministry, whatever it is that is paralyzing me. I always read this as scripture, guys, and it's such a big blessing in my life. Immediately, it helps me to release the fear 
and be able to take action even if I'm feeling afraid. Is, is Isaiah 41, 13. So let's look it up, write it down, write it in your notes, write it in a place where you can always see it because when fear tries to attack you, this is the best scripture that is gonna help you lose free. Amen? Isaiah 41, 13. It says, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold on of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. How many of you say praise God this morning? What a powerful scripture. Pay attention, guys. The Lord here is telling us that he will take hold of our hand and he will not let us go. And he says to not be afraid that he will help us. He will help us. So every single time you're afraid, remember this scripture. Remember that God is right there with you, helping you be a mother, helping you write a book, helping you lose weight, helping you increase, um, you know, being more organized at home or raising your kids or whatever it is God is calling you to do, starting that new business, whatever God is calling you to do, he's right there with you. Isaiah 41, 13 is making, giving us that promise. He will help us. He tell us, don't be afraid. I will be there. I will hold your hand. I won't let go. I will help you. So praise God for that. Now believe this promise from the Lord and take action. It's important to treasure that in our heart. This promise that God has given us, take action, move towards whatever God is telling you because he's telling you, I will be there with you. Take your pill of faith. That pill, remember last week I was telling you guys that the medicine for fear is faith. Every single time you feel afraid, every single time you're paralyzed by that feeling, remember that faith is the medicine that will help you, that will set you free, that will help you move towards whatever God is calling you to do. So that's why right now I'm taking you to take that pill, that medicine pill of faith and get rid of that fear and wait and see on what God is going to do in you and through you. Amen. Because when we are women who are bold and courageous, we will be able to achieve everything he's calling us to do. And during these two last classes, he has taught us how to be bold and courageous. So we have no excuse anymore to go after what God is calling us to do because we know that faith is the medicine to fear. Amen. Now, if you're ready to activate this puzzle piece to be the virtuous woman and be able to be courageous and go after what God is calling you to do, I want you guys to type in, I am a strong and courageous woman. Amen. Type in whatever you are or write it down in your notes. I am a strong and courageous woman. Declare it activate this puzzle piece in your life and you will see how the rest of things are going to start working out for you good and remember and treasure that scripture that we read today isaiah 41 13. remember that the lord is always with you that he will guide you that he will show you the most important thing he will help you you're not alone he will help you do whatever it is he's calling you to do amen now my loves Every single Wednesday, I'm here with you at noon, bringing you the Word of God, starting a new chapter in the book. And I'm very excited because next week we're going to be learning about how to be a woman of vision. We're going to be creating vision boards and being able to visualize what God wants for us for this year. So make sure you guys sign up, or not sign up, but just show up to the class next week. Wednesday at noon. Once again, I'll be here tomorrow. Connect with Angelica to the workshop. If you guys need the link, send me a DM. I'll send you the information. Every Saturday at 9.30, my sister Jessica will be bringing a devotional for you guys in our private group, Transform Your Life. So make sure you're part of that group. Make sure you connect to diving deeper in the Word of God. We also have prayers on Tuesday with Mio Soti. So make sure you guys log in and, and pray with her. She's praying for your needs. So if you have any needs, any petitions, send it to us. We will be more than happy to pray for you. And every single weekday, I'm sending you guys a podcast. So make sure if you guys haven't heard those podcasts, you go and listen to them. Mondays are called 
Good Morning Lord podcast. And it's a five minute podcast. It's a devotional that will help you start your week right. And from Tuesday to Friday, I'm giving you something that is called Wisdom Seeds. This is something God has placed on my heart to give you a one minute, one minute devotional, one minute thought to start your day right just spending one minute meditating in the Word of God and being able to have that right seed planted in your heart for the rest of the day. So I'm super excited, my loves, with this podcast. Make sure you share it with other people. Make sure you invite them to join to those podcasts. Only five minutes a day on Mondays and the rest of the week until Friday, one minute a day. And it will really inspire you and put you in the right mindset. Amen. That being all, let's close in prayer, my love. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this beautiful time we had together. Thank you, Father, for teaching us these practical steps to be bold and courageous women. Thank you, Lord, for helping us, guiding us this year, Father, to achieve all the dreams and goals and desires you have placed in our hearts. Thank you for giving us the courage and reminding us, Father, that you're holding us on, that your hand is right with with our hand and you're helping us Lord in everything you're calling us to, to do and to be. We ask you to please help us activate this puzzle piece in our life to continue growing and being those virtuous women you're calling us to be Father. Thank you for helping us be bold and courageous the rest of the year Lord and we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me my loves. I see you Natalia. I see you Mio Sotis. I see See you, um, Bataline, um, Angelica, Marisela, Susie. Praise God. Thank you so much for joining me. I also see you guys here on Instagram, Emanuela. I see you all connecting. Thank you so much. Remember, this video will be recorded on YouTube so you guys can go and watch it again and share it with all your friends. Davinel, I'll see you next Wednesday, my loves.